The Madnari Festival wrapped up at the Santa Barbara Mission tonight, but the art could last a while if the weather stays dry. And as Tracy Lair reports, the artwork is something to see. Day after day, e Madinari images come to life. Most of the artists put their chalk down on Memorial Day, but others, including a father and daughter team sponsored by the Berry Man, had a little more work to do on a portrait of a familiar mission face. Portraits are my specialty, and it's a joy for me, so it was a pleasure. You know? And he's such a lovable guy. <laughs> you know, everybody's just, oh my God, it's Father Larry. He's such a rock star here. It's crazy. Another artist got his inspiration from a Botticelli he saw in Florence, Italy, just last week. A lot of people have come up and noticed that it's an angel and then it's in front of the steps of the mission. And, uh, you know, it's just sort of resonated with a lot of people. So it's been it's been very positive. A visiting artist got her inspiration from her nieces. We're not all in the same city or the same state. So I feel like it's uh, my my love postcard to them. Animals, including horses, lions, cats, and dogs, seem to be popular this year. I've been coming here for uh, as long as it's been going on, like th over 30 years. And they always last well into the summer. And I love, love it all. I love the, the, you know, the art, the, the food, the people coming out. I live close by, so it's very easy to come to. And I, I never miss it. Half bubblegum, half lemon. Enjoy. All of the money raised goes to the Children's Creative Project to benefit arts education. Parents sponsored Children's Squares in a designated area. They could be the featured artists of the future. And I'll leave you with a fun fact. E. Madonari got its name from Italian street painters who were known for recreating images of the Madonna. In Santa Barbara, I'm News Channel reporter Tracy Lair.